This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. The investigation is just getting started into what sparked a massive fire at a Key Largo luxury resort. Fire crews and Monroe County Sheriff's deputies responded to the fire at the Bungalows Key Largo around 5 Sunday morning. It took them a few hours to put it out. People who live in the area say they could see the flames and black smoke coming from the resort from miles away. It, it got be, it worse by the minute. Incredible. You know, that's a brand new hotel just renovated. So it, it, for them, it has to be tough. Officials say no one was hurt. It could be days before a Miami Air International plane is removed from a river in Jacksonville. The Boeing 737 skidded off a runway at a Naval Air Station late Friday night. All 143 people on board survived. Crews from the NTSB have recovered the flight data recorder. They're still working to get the cockpit voice recorder, but may not be able to until the plane is out of the water. One passenger who lives in Miami says he didn't know where the plane stopped. I couldn't tell if we were in the deep. I couldn't tell. If we, I couldn't tell that we were right off the shore. The NTSB is working to figure out why the pilots told air traffic controllers they wanted to land on a different runway than planned. They are also trying to see if weather was a factor in the accident. And South Florida is drying out after being slammed by strong storms. The drenching downpours left some roads in Miami flooded last night. The wild weather also left thousands without power in Miami-Dade and Broward. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Monday morning, and yes, after a very soggy Sunday and nasty storms yesterday, we are waking up to the low 80s as we take a peek here from our Fort Lauderdale camera. South of a frontal boundary, plenty of moisture moving in from the Gulf. When you add the heating of the day and also a lot of instability in the atmosphere into the mix, that means we'll see the possibility of some afternoon and evening thunderstorms again. Winds fairly calm in Broward, light uh, for the rest of Dade and through the Keys, and high soar to 90 today. Day. We could be time breaking some records and it'll feel more like the upper 90s. Hundreds keep the umbrellas handy. Storms will be developing and there is a chance for strong to isolated severe storms with the potential for frequent lightning, gusty winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Heavy rain may lead to some localized flooding similar to yesterday. And yes, there's a slight chance of small hail and funnel clouds and water spouts, isolated tornadoes. So just uh, staying unsettled here the rest of the day and through the evening, some storms still possible and uh, lows will be in the upper 70s. Tomorrow, we'll see afternoon and evening storms maybe not as widespread or as intense as today, but still needing to keep the rain gear close. Highs will be in the upper 80s Wednesday with a lower rain chance. Thursday and Friday, we'll see the sea breeze carry in some afternoon storms at more of a seasonal rain chance because we'll see a drier air mass in place late week and likely into Mother's Day weekend. Lauren. Lizette, thanks. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.